The gap between the big cities and remote villages in Indonesia is huge in terms of infrastructure, education quality. It has the highest illiteracy rate in the country. And in terms of reading skills, the kids in Eastern Indonesia has the lowest reading skills as compared to the other part of the country. I'm Nila Tanzil. I'm the founder of Rainbow Reading Gardens or Taman Bacaan Pelangi. We focus on improving children's literacy in remote villages in eastern part of Indonesia. Before COVID-19, we were only focusing on establishing children's libraries and training teachers. When the pandemic hits Indonesia, all the schools are closed and the Ministry of Education asks everyone to jump into online learning. And this is a big challenge because for vulnerable communities who live in remote areas, students cannot simply jump on Zoom call or other educational websites or platforms or apps not only because of economic reason, but also due to infrastructure reasons. The internet connectivity is a huge problem in the remote areas. So you could imagine like, how, how can these kids do online learning? It's just not possible. I couldn't sleep because I, I was constantly thinking about those kids. How could they study? How could they continue learning when their schools are off? So that is why I created this learning packets program in which we distribute learning materials for the kids who live in those small villages in those remote islands in eastern part of Indonesia. We created this system in which we work together with the schools so we produce these learning materials for the kids and we distribute it every week uh, in collaboration with the teachers. So these teachers and our volunteers go out there distributing uh, these learning packets every single week to their students' houses. Pakai masker, tangan. Apet. COVID-19 bagi kehidupan itu sebagai ini pendidik saya merasa terganggu karena saya tidak bisa menghubungi anak-anak atau tidak bertemu anak-anak bertemu hanya beberapa jam saja dengan LKS ini sangat bermanfaat sekali bagi kami sehingga penurunan daya anak itu bisa ditingkatkan lagi dengan paket pembelajaran ini sangat bermanfaat bagi anak kelas 1 karena dalam pembelajaran ini anak-anak bisa membaca huruf di dalam itu LKS kan ada hurufnya sehingga anak-anak bisa membaca di rumah dan bimbingan orang tua suku katanya kata-katanya sudah itu apa anak bisa mewarnai pokoknya paling bagus lah when I heard about the solidarity grant from the Atlantic Institute I was like I'm gonna apply for this grant so I applied and I got it and it was great because this solidarity grant enabled us to continue this learning packets program we have reached over 1,000 students in four islands in eastern part of Indonesia and with the grant enabled us to add an addition of over 1,500 students in Flores Island and on Sumba Island. Bagian yang paling saya suka di LKS membaca, bisa belajar, bisa tulis, bisa menggambar. Cita-cita saya menjadi koki. Saya pilih cita-cita jadi koki pengaruh suka masak. Our learning packet programs has made the high officials in the Department of Education office in each district realize that they could actually continue this program themselves using their own resources. This is so great. This this is going to make this program sustainable. I believe that every child is equal. I believe that all children have the same rights in education. They have the same rights to get access to high quality of education, no matter where they live. And it is our job and responsibility to make that happen. <laughs>